Hello everyone, welcome back to part three, the final part. My website is ggonline.com and ddarko2012, 2013 on my YouTube channels. Check out the links in uh, the YouTube's video description. And uh, the first article I have up is Army readies its mammoth spy blimp the f for first flight. And this is from Northrop Grumman. And, uh, you know, it says here they have the potential to have uh, to be armed with missiles. So it's not just surveillance. But they've had a lot of problems with it. And it's similar to uh, Lockheed Martin's version of this blimp, this high-altitude airship. Uh, it says here that uh, it actually went down last year. Uh, in southwestern Pennsylvania, so basically it crashed. I mean, there's the photo right there. So groups are concerned over arming of domestic drones. Well, I would be too, but they say it's unconstitutional. And it says here one of the police departments are considering using rubber bullets and tear gas on its drones and the prospect of people out in public being tased or targeted by force by flying drones where no officers are physically present on the scene raises the prospect of unconstitutional force being used on individuals. So. Then we have Britain uh, finds people who fail to register to vote. So, uh, yeah, you know, I guess that's what it's all about. Democracy and the Republic and all that. It says here, oops, Olympic torch goes out after just three days in Britain. And it says here that the replacement torch was brought out and lit from the mother flame. Not uncommon for flame to go out, it says a spokesman. So uh, next up we have London. We already know about this, but London deploys security force of 40,000 during Olympics. This is possibly for the false flag attack. So it makes sense that the military will take charge of airspace for the Olympics, like the NATO summit, where they just said, okay, we're declaring this uh, uh what is it, a, a secure zone, a red zone, and if you're in it, little props, prop planes, Cessnas, we have orders to shoot to kill. So now, uh, any type of global forum, such as the Olympics or uh, these summits, they're just going to, you know, take over the airspace, they're going to take over everything, block off buildings and stuff like that. This is to help keep these people safe because they're very intelligent, they're very important people, these politicians and these experts. So, uh, moving on next, we have, it's out there, Science Journal publishes details of deadly lab-made bird flu that could cause pandemics. So, it's a mutant lab-created version that can spread easily among ferrets, which is good, because that means that it'll spread easily among humans. So, this is a weaponized form of bird flu, and it was released, released on purpose so that when it does get released into the public, uh, as it should, or as it was designed to be, they could say, oh, well... You see, we shouldn't have published that information. So, but it goes on here. It says MBTA to spread dead ba deadly bacteria on red line and bio tear test. So, I showed this uh, older news. Uh, it's not that old. It's from May 3rd. But uh, I included that because I saw this. You know, in order to test sensors that detect biological agents that terror groups uh, could release into subway systems. They're talking about your governments there. Homeland Security and the Tea plan to release dead bacteria at three red line stops during off hours. During off hours, dead bacteria. So, But it goes on here and it says the government uh, had rejected a plan to release live bacteria at rush hour to simulate more closely how an actual attack would take place. So I wonder who actually proposed that to begin with. So, But it says here, uh, white supremacists violently clash with anti-racists near Chicago. So it sounds like white supremacists attack the anti-racists. No, actually, this uh, self-described anti-racist group uh, who is all about tolerance, right, and equality, stormed into this restaurant in Tilly Park on Saturday and allegedly assaulted members of an organization with white supremacy ties. So, But it goes on there and it says that... Uh, the alleged assailants are believed to be members of the Hoosier anti-racist uh, movement, and it goes on here and it says that they targeted a dozen members of the Illinois European Heritage Association that has been advertised online. In Australia, the Aboriginal uh, are raged after a gollywog doll goes on sale in tourist shops in Australia. Blackface doll imported from China and sold by Australian firm had begun appearing in tourist and novelty shops and resorts in northern Brisbane, and. Uh, it said that uh, campaigns had succeeded in the removal from the public eye, so they used force to do that. But it says here that older people, 
uh, who are reminded that dolls from their childhood are actually the ones that are increasing the sales of these things. So, so something that I've uh, covered before, a trend that I've noticed is what the use of the word anarchist and injecting anarchists as a group uh, into the political landscape right now as the economy is degrading. Uh, people might actually start to search for something else, right? Instead of having to watch their family members and their friends get killed and shot and basically massacred by the by the federal government and the states now that are basically federalized when they take up arms and revolt uh, against, you know, tyranny. Uh, there may be some people that say, well, wait a minute, why are we doing all this? Why do we just not participate? Why do we not vote? Why don't we just not pay our taxes? Why do we just do our own thing voluntarily, right? Well, the social engineers, the powers that be, the New World Order, the global elites, scientific dictatorship, they already understand this. They have humanity and society uh, down to a T. They've studied them, they studied their psychology uh, because they've designed them. They've designed uh, most people uh, to basically, they know how they're going to think. So they've engineered society. So they know that they may actually come to the conclusion that, you know what, it's probably best just to not use governments at all because they're just used as apparatus, apparatuses to help enslave us down the road. So right because most people slowly they lose interest in politics because they get disgusted with it because all these people with all these money all these families and that interest and corporations uh they sit there and they lobby into the government they do all this stuff where most pe hard-working people uh, uh you know their money is going down the drain they're losing their wealth they're losing their standard of living and that's because of course because you have like a federal reserve system and all that just basically they slowly leech their way in and then when it's when it's incorporated, when these laws are incorporated, there's no going back. There's no going back. You know, I've mentioned this before, like the song from Rush, the changes are permanent. So, you know, always hope for your discontent. Like the drones, they're not going anywhere. You can lobby with a stupid, you know, uh, ACLU, but it's not going to do anything. The ACLU is there to push liberalist, liberal uh, social agendas. I mean, how are you going to participate in politics if you're busy trying to survive, you can't, you won't. So you're not going to get represented in Congress by these people. These people, just like everybody else, it's inherent to take care of yourself to survive. You know, some people, yeah, they're greedy, but, you know, it's not selfish that you're trying to take care of yourself. You don't have time to participate in the politics, right? So slowly as this is happening, slowly creeping into your country, uh, basically to take you over is what it is. Um, you're going to have groups like this, right? The European uh, Heritage Organization. So there's different scenarios. The uh, Italian bombing, uh, which was playing on the Informal Anarchist Federation, I covered that. Uh, Meet the Press, Jim Cramer, boldly predicted the financial anarchy was coming to Europe. And uh, then a former finance minister of Greece uh, was quoted as saying in Reuters that disruptions, social di uh, disruptions will come, and I would say a regime of total anarchy. But it says, but what has not been mentioned is the important elite trigger word seems to be anarchist or anarchy, especially when used in tandem with violence. Okay, so for those that uh, do think that your vote counts and that you have to have a government, you'll usually use the argument of what? The roads. you got to have a government because... Okay, well, let's see. You gotta have roads. How are you gonna do the roads? Well, don't worry about people. Two, you know, two, three different parties coming together um, and figuring something out, right? With using the markets and just common sense and stuff like that. No, we gotta have a humongous infrastructure set up. That most of the money, you know, doesn't really go towards the road. You know, we're gonna just take the good with the bad. And yeah, we know we're gonna have a police state. Uh, uh, tasing people and we yeah we know we're and we go to the airport we're going to travel we're going to have our, our our wives and our children molested by these uh, mostly older people um, just you know one one of them i just reported last time raped a pregnant woman at a, a greyhound bus station so we you know we got to deal with that those that you know with the bad or with the good comes the bad so uh, it says here that driving on an interstate highway crossing a bridge on the way into work, taking a tunnel under a river or bay, get ready to pay. So it says here that uh, it's all because of, not because, not because most of the money of your tax dollars is spent on uh, security 
uh, and defense, and uh, you know, God knows what else, right? Uh, funding abortions in China, uh, paying companies to move offshore. It's because Congress, your representatives, were unwilling to cont contemplate or, uh, yeah, contemplate an increase in the federal gas tax. So you were already paying taxes. That's the whole reason for a government, right? You got, you know, you got to have uh, roads and stuff like that. So you pay the taxes for the roads, and they say, oh, well, no, now we're going to make you pay toll on top of that because we didn't pass a different type of tax that you're already paying for the roads, which will then be sold off to private companies uh, because it's such a bad economy, right? Because the government was used to what? Oh, all of a sudden deregulate so then they can go ahead with the derivatives market and just uh, hedge their bets and basically siphon off a bunch of wealth. So, you know, you Joe Q citizen has just been working hard away, slaving away, not having time to pay attention to all this stuff in politics. Well, again, you get screwed. But hey, you got to have government, right? Got to spend trillions of dollars on uh, killing people with drones in uh, Afghanistan and that. So, but it says here... So eco-fascists, also known as environmentalists, take aim at senseless surfing on the internet by board, by board people. So this individual brings our attention to a report appearing in the Australian uh, title, Senseless Surfing on the Internet. And uh, it goes on here and it says, oh, one of them is YouTube videos. Yeah, it says that uh, basically they're consuming energy, wasting it. So it says here are some questions you could ask yourself. Uh, for stars, it would be, it would be enough for the user to assure the result justifies a bur burden on the environment before making an internet query, then are you really sure you want to search for this and destroy the environment? So just like the nonsense about C CO2, which makes up about less than 1% of greenhouse gas emissions, besides the aerosols are spraying, is what? Just to stop breathing. Stop breathing and trees are bad, right? So it says here, scientists of the Russian Academy of Science say global warming is coming to an end, return to the early 1980s level. And a 15-year-old died after a doctor mistook TB or tuberculosis for love sickness. A 15-year-old schoolgirl died of TB after her bungling uh, GP claimed she was lovesick and inquest heard. That's like the person who died of cancer and they said, oh, it's just all in your head. Yeah, but this is what happens to those useless eaters, uh, you know, and they could always go what and blame it on the economy. Ooh, the recession. You know, she saw four different hospitals and failed to detect it. So it's just lack of staff, you know. We need more machines and robots to help us out, guys. Pet owners. Oh, and they do have actually now, they have uh, uh, robots now dispensing pharmaceuticals. That's right. Remember I covered that? So... Pet owners say cats cancer caused by a vaccine. Owners say vet never warned them of the risk. Well, you better pay attention and realize it then. I try to recommend it to other people, and they just don't want to hear the freaking truth, man. It's so It tears my heart apart, you know? They don't want to keep giving their uh, dogs and cats uh, this fluoridated water to the tap, and then, you know, and then they complain about having a big, gigantic tumor and all sorts of health problems as they vaccinate and say, oh, you don't get the vax the rabies, rabies vaccine? It's like, uh, well, my dog did get it when I first got him, but I haven't done that shit for like four years, and he's super healthy. He'll be 10 next February, and he's healthier and happier than most dogs that I see. But for cancer, Australian clinic uses in vitro fertilization to search out and destroy embryos with cancer genes. The eugenic practice of genetic testing to screen out the unfit has moved to a step forward in Australia. They use a process called pre-implantation uh, to diagnose whether the cells uh, were prone for bowel cancer. And when the cells were found to be free, it was implanted in the mother's uterus. And we have Vermont ordinance could ban pro-lifers from protesting at Planned Parenthood clinics. Then it says here that the Catholic Church is going to sue the Obama regime because of a law that requires virtually all health care plans in the United States to cover sterilizations and FDA-approved contraceptives, including those that can cause abortion. Something interesting I found from the 23rd, pro-choice Americans at record low, 41%. Americans now tilt pro-life by 9-point margin, 50% to 41%. Strong support for gay marriage now exceeds strong opposition. And I don't think this or abortion should be, quote, illegal but you can see how the governments are used to support it and promote it then nhs launches diversity week with transgender art while while transgender contestant is disqualified and while britain makes up the first female warship commander you have a female pilot kicking someone off for sexist remarks
And let's not forget India's first female Olympic wrestler.